talk about two other teams. Let's talk about the Suns and the Knicks. Uh, which one of these teams are more of a surprise this season for you? The Suns, they are potential right now. They're currently sitting at number one in the West, and they could potentially earn the top two seed going into the playoffs. And then you have the New York Knicks, who come from the bottom of the East. Typically, every year, right now, they're sitting in fourth place with a better record than Boston and Miami. So, which one of these teams are more of a surprise this season for you guys? You want to go first, or you want me to go? Because I got an answer. Is that you think about it? I'm gonna have to. This is a tough one. Go ahead, Ryan. Go ahead, Ryan. I got first. I got stuff by giving a lot of credit to the Suns. You got to think about it. The Suns are basically the same team as a team from the bubble where they were dominating everybody in the bubble before they got eliminated, but they added Chris Paul. So you have a dominated team like that because they were killing everybody in the bubble until they lost, and you added a leader in Chris Paul. So it's not a surprise to me that they're doing what they're doing because Chris Paul, every team that he's been to or been at, always improved. Of course. So they were just missing the leader, and they got the leader now. So it's not a surprise for me, but come on. I'm a New Yorker. Oh my New York goodness. Knicks, come oh, on now. Please. Come on now. Please. Fourth? Fourth? Oh my god. Oh, god. The Raptors? What is the record? And the Celtics? What is the record? It don't matter. Oh my god. Those teams got stars. The Knicks who they got? Oh, Julius god. Randle. The Knicks all got Julius Randle and they fourth. That Julius Julius Randle. He stays in the whole game, gets no breaks at all. Beating up on cool. second team players. It doesn't matter. Oh my you God. against the God. first and the second team players, it don't matter. Now, Julius Randle has to be most in, most improved player, hands down. He already got oh, it by surely. far. Has to be. Like, surely. Like, come most on, energetic man. player, for sure. He don't sit down. Hey, the Celtics and the Raptors. Are disappointed. Or the Knicks are just legit now. Is this a, is so so? This is the segment you get hyped. The Knicks. Hey, this is the one hey. where you jump up and down in the chair. The Knicks, right? So which, and you know, and you know, I normally go for the, the other the other New York team. So <laughs> I gotta a give six, the Knicks some credit. A six foot point guard took the Suns to the number one seed. In the West, and you talking about the Knicks right now? AD and LeBron miss Matt a lot of games. They're number one. They're not number eight. They're number one. Okay. And I'm saying is, I'm pretty sure if LeBron and AD was healthy, you think the Suns would be Besides number one? Besides Chris Paul, they got a bunch of people on their team that may be younger than us. But they have a bunch of good, solid three and D players. That's perfect around Chris Paul and Devin Booker. And DeAndre so Chris Paul and Devin Booker. And DeAndre is Ayton. DeAndre Ayton is playing like that pick that they picked him. The Suns picked him as. De- I'm not gonna lie. DeAndre draft. Ayton is scary. I like DeAndre Ayton. I like the Suns, man. Are you seeing how they're playing the ball movement? Devin Booker is turning into a super star. But Devin Booker was already doing that. Now he's just getting witnessed now because of how Chris Paul is leading that team around him. I Devin, Book, Devin Booker hasn't changed his game. Devin Booker has been doing this since day okay. one. This is something that we that needs to be spoken on. Chris Paul has to be the worst person to be around because there's no way that he makes this many teams win and nobody wants him. Why? How terrible is he like to hang out with? He cannot be cool. Chris Paul is this must your be argument? the most unfun person. And he's the, the, the president of the Players Association, so they can't say nothing to him before they end up getting – for his, they don't get, they got free agency like the NFL, <laughs> and they be mad when they got franchise tags and the NBA because y'all to piss Chris Paul off. But what did he do? He can't be fun because he wins. He is a huge – in New Orleans, he was winning, and I used to love that Hornets team. He was trying to go to the Lakers. That was going to be cheating. Because it would have been two people. I don't even know how they would have got along. They should have just let the trade go off and then seen how Chris Paul and Kobe Bryant would have been able to deal with each other. Because how was that happen? 
Does, does they, did anybody ever think about that? Are y'all where sure you going? That where you going people? with this? Where you going with this? Let me know where you going with this. I just need He's... to know what's wrong with him. He's great. Why is he so great? But don't nobody want him. Oh. He needed a bunch of. He needed to go to a bunch of kids in the Suns. And they don't know nothing about why he's a terrible person. He probably don't even talk to them in the locker room. And he just go and win with them. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Because he went oh, to a you... young team. He went to a young team last year with the Thunder. And, and they that was team. winning. Brought that team to the play. You just you're proving my point right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep on going. Right. Keep That's what going. I was just gonna ask. So, so I was just gonna ask that. Oh, it's the so Suns. Are Obviously. you? Are you? So you're actually surprised that the Suns are or yes, where they are right now. They're number one in the West right now. Like that in the West, the Knicks are number four in the East. This conversation is over. I mean, last year we seen we seen Denver go up to number one at one point. Denver and is Denver- amazing. <laughs> the Sops, the Denver is a great team. Denver's listen, a good team. But listen. And Nuggets. Michael Porter Jr. is gonna be a star in this league. Nuggets. Like Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen, listen. I like him. Michael Porter listen, Jr. is gonna be listen, a star Ed. in this league. The Nuggets, no Jamal Murray right now. Lakers. Davis, hey, wait, wait, right wait, now. wait, 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 wait. I let you wait. I let wow. you see. Listen, 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 listen. The Lakers had no AD, no LeBron. I need out. Clippers, Clippers. Kawhi was Kawhi missed some time this year. Kawhi missed Low time every year. Low okay. man. Okay, exactly. So the only two teams that have been healthy basically the whole season is the Jazz and the Suns. Who's gonna take? Who, wait, let's listen. Who's gonna take <laughs> Mitchell and go Mitchell and go bear or D book and Chris Paul? This, this is not a surprise to me at all. The West been banged up, so of course the Suns be consistent all year. So the East ain't been banged surprise. up. The Heat ain't been banged up. Fourth against ahead of. Oh, you understand. It's the New York Knicks. I had of the underachieving Boston Celtics with Brad Stevens potentially finna get fired the way he acted. And the Kyle Lowry superstar. That's who you said the star was. Kyle Lowry. Okay, I have a question for you. I'm going to end this right. And this, this is right here. Before the season, did you have to make the Knicks making the playoffs at all? Look at me. Look at me. Look at us. Look at us. Do you have the New York Knicks making the playoffs at all? Even in, in the AC? <laughs> you can't even, you can't even say with a straight face. You can't even say with a straight face. Look, because it's an extra be, 20 you, game, it's an extra five, six teams in the playoffs. Yeah, play you sweating. Something. You move your eyebrows and everything. You can't even stay with a straight face now. Come on now. I mean, don't lie. I don't, I, lie I don't have a lot of conviction. I ain't gonna lie. The play in tournament, maybe. I thought the Suns was going to be like an AC, though. Hey. With Chris Paul? Yeah, with Paul, yes. I don't know. I seen them in the middle of the pack, maybe like a four or five seed. I didn't see them. Okay, let me tell you what I either. thought. Let me tell you what I thought. If I was to pick where, where I thought this would have been, because this is the West and how before the injuries. We talking before the season, so before the injuries. Lakers, Clips, Denver, Jazz, automatically, right? Then you got the um, the Portland Trailblazers, who I was looking at, the Dallas Mavericks, who I was looking at. That's seven. I mean, that's six. The New Orleans Pelicans were supposed to be good. They were supposed to be good. That's seven. And then you have... Who at eight? The Suns. Not saying that they were going to be eight, but they were going to be between six and eight. Okay. Because the top four was solidified. And where did you have the Knicks before the season? (laughs) The playing (laughs) tournament. (laughs) Between eight and ten. No, we got to get we got to get a Knicks some credit for sure. This is uh, the best season they've had since. This is the best season they've had. Oh my god! And about about, about about seven eight eight years existed. They even went on well, no, a nine game winning streak too. Carmelo nine Anthony. game winning streak. The Knicks had never done that in a long time. Right, right. Yeah, it's true. They, they definitely playing some uh, some very inspired basketball. Man, Julius Randle got them guys 
just flying up and down the court. And, and he's really turned into a, a great leader for their organization. I mean, who you think got a chance to win a playoff series? And one more thing, though. The head coach, Thibodeau, one of the best defensive minded head coaches, had them playing defense. That's another reason why they. Who do y'all improved. think has the best chance to win a playoff series? The Suns, hands down. Obviously, the Suns. I had a question. <laughs> that doesn't mean that they're more in like improved and surprising the Knicks being the fourth in the East. The right Suns now. winning a playoff series with Devin Booker is surprising. I don't care if Chris Paul's on the team. What? Chris Paul five, but come on now. The Suns number one. The Suns are a different team this year. I think what was missing is Chris Paul is exactly what, what was missing on that team because if you that look at it, DeAndre Ayton growing up and Devin Booker De- growing up, all of Devin these Booker, things, the, he's been the levels in the steps that they took, their growth. I'm tired of y'all. Okay, nah, I see the same team. I see the same. You team. got a okay. I'm tired Ethan of y'all because y'all got points, but it's man. like Booker was, Booker was doing y'all the got points, but I'm tired of the Knicks. Do you not I'm see that in the Randall bubble getting MVP chance because they're not that good? They just playing harder than teams that's injured. I'm sorry, I'm tired of them. Okay, they beat up on bad teams and they play all game and they don't sit down because Tom Thibodeau be running out, his team to the ground. The New York they're not Knicks. gonna have no energy left Listen. for the playoffs. I'm tired of them. Aren't the Suns playing? Aren't the Suns playing team that hurt too in the West even more? The Suns are number one in the West, which probably means they have the best record in the league right now. They're tied currently with Utah, but yeah, they're tied for number one. They ain't just beating injured teams. They're beating everybody. But but when when have we seen the New York Knicks? Y'all want the Knicks to be lit. I'm tired of this. I don't care. I don't want them. I, I don't want them to be. I don't want them to be. It's exciting. When the Buffalo, games, I'm lit. When the Buffalo Julius Randle make layups. I'm happy. It's exciting. It's exciting. No, it's not. Games. The Knicks are lame. <laughs> All right. And I agree with you. <laughs> no, it's extremely exciting. I'm, I'm just being a contrarian. I'm just happy about the Suns. The Suns are doing too much being tied with the best record in the league with Devin Booker and Chris Paul. Both players under six foot. How tall is Devin Booker? Six six, six five. Yeah, six six. So, like, come on now. And those are both stars. Those are both all stars. All stars. Neither one stars. of them are a superstar. 